Welcome to the BI Publisher Extensibility Training. In this lesson, I will demonstrate how to create a report layout using the online layout editor, including how to generate sample XML data. First of all, navigate to the catalog on your BIP server. Next, navigate to the web catalog hierarchy to find the data model for the report that you wish to modify. We'll use this data model to generate the XML for the sample data. When you have navigated to the data model, click on Edit. Once you have opened up the data model, click on the Get XML Output button located in the top right hand corner. This will open a screen which allows you to run the data model. Enter appropriate values for all the parameters. Select the number of rows that you wish to be returned, and then click on the Run button. Once the data model has generated the XML, click on the Open Menu button in the top right hand corner. From the drop down menu, choose the option to Save as Sample Data. Once the sample data is saved, navigate back to the catalogue and open up the corresponding report. Once the report is open, click on the Add New Layout button. Then, in the Create Layout section, choose one of the basic templates. This will open the Online Template Builder. For the purposes of this example, we'll create a simple customer listing report. The first step is to add a page header. Once the header region has been added to the layout, click inside it to activate it. This will allow us to add text and other fields to the header region. Click on the text item button to add a report title. Click on the alignment buttons to align the title as you wish. You can also set the title to be bold and also increase the font size. Next, click outside the header region to activate the main body of the report. We can then start adding fills into this region. I've chosen to add a table, and I'll drag three fields across into it, customer number, customer name, and customer VAT reg number. Once you are happy with your layout, you can then save the report. Once the layout is saved, you can return to the main report. You can test your new layout by running the report. Enter appropriate values for all the parameters, then click Apply. And then you receive the output for your new layout on the appropriate tab. That's the end of this lesson in which I've shown you how to create a new layout using the online layout editor.